beloved, let us love one another. Those words were given to us by the disciple whom Jesus loved. And you say, well, where did that come from? Well, it come from the Gospel of John. John referred to himself as the disciple whom Jesus loved. Now, you might speculate and say, well, why did he have that title? Well, maybe it was because he himself, talking about John, the apostle, had such a heart to love. In his later days, when he was there in the church at Ephesus, they would bring him out before the congregation to say a few words, and he would say, children, love one another. Those words, they ring through the centuries. And oh, if society, humanity, could just grab a hold of the concept of this. And people truly loved people. People from all races and all creeds and all colors would just take away all of the things that would cause us to have hatred in our hearts and just love humanity. Just imagine how that would resonate across the world. And many of the conflicts that we have wouldn't happen because people just loved one another and they, and they would go out of their way to demonstrate their love one to another. I know, I'm dreaming, but then again, I am a dreamer. And to think that there could be world peace and world harmony based upon love. Well, the truth of the matter is, the revelation tells us that that day will come. There will be that time. Once Jesus established his eternal kingdom, it will be a kingdom of love because Jesus himself will be the one who will lead all of society. And scripture says he will even be the light to all of humanity. And he who is the uh, author of, of hatred and strife will be forever eliminated and there will be true love. But as it is now, we humans, we need to consider these things because John also tells us in this very first scripture that we read here today, which is uh, uh, 1 John chapter 4, verse 7, Beloved, let us love one another for love is of God. And I do believe that. I believe that God is the author of love as he demonstrated his love for humanity as we find in the Gospel of John. For God so loved humanity that he would offer up his only begotten son for the sins and the discretions and, and, and all the things that humanity has done one to another. That God would give forgiveness and grant pardon to humanity, to demonstrate what love truly is. Love is a wonderful thing, and I've often said I don't know that people fully understand what love is. I think we also are often getting confused with lust, and uh, think, well, because uh, I, I lust after something that I love it, but love is a characteristic they can only be given to us and exemplified as God himself teaches us to love. This is Pastor Jack King with a gospel on the radio broadcast. <laughs> 